Russell with Dave Brown and Corey Macklin ready to go with the USWA Championship Wrestling. And as usual, another dandy day. Indeed, the USWA debut today, wrestling as a single of the men on a missions mode right here in that ring today. Yes, sir. In addition to that, we're going to go back and take a look at an event that uh, in some way brought smiles, another way uh, we weren't sure about, and that was the breakup between Tracy Smothers and Jesse James Armstrong. We'll take a look at that one right And PG-13, favorites of the fans are gonna be here in action today, too. Wildfire, Tommy Rich and Dangerous Doug Gilbert will be in the ring today. And we'll have a special presentation to the uh, USWA heavyweight champion, Brian Christopher. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting, I hope that you'll take, take uh, note of that particular thing. Uh, we wanted to bring something up in regards to Jeff Jarrett, who participated yeah. in the uh, big show last week. And he was uh, uh, going against uh, tough competition. And Jeff, in the middle of that match, ended up getting himself injured. His back is back injured. He was taken immediately to the hospital. Jeff is in bed now. He, we're not really sure how long he's going to be out. No, he's in touch with uh, Randy Hales, and Randy Hales says not ready to go right now, so the unified world title is sort of in limbo until it's determined uh, Jeff's condition. That's exactly right, and we uh, wish him the very best and hope that that comes out. Very unfortunate thing. Hey, we got a lot of things to do. Let's get on with it. We'll be back and ready to go with our opening setup in just one moment. all the way across New Hampshire, and I haven't seen anything like this before. It was the biggest day of his political career, and Action News 5 was the only Mid-South television station in New Hampshire to cover it. Complete coverage and in-depth analysis live from New Hampshire. He has to do well. And in Memphis. He's got to start winning somewhere. Richard Ransom walked with Lamar Alexander from his last campaign stop until the last vote was counted, and every step along the way. That's political coverage you can count on. There's just something people like about a pickup man. You can set my truck on fire and roll it down a hill, and I still love that old set of wheels. Now the number one selling 96 Ford F-150 comes with low 4.8% financing or $600 cash back for total savings of over $3,000. There's just something people like about a pickup man. See the Truck Authority, your local Ford dealer. Yeah, yeah. Don't gamble with your car insurance. Make the sure bet on a winning hand from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. They're dealing straight with savings up to 50% on your car insurance. For low monthly payments on your car insurance, call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and theft repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Dennis Hall. For the best prices in town, come on down. Tony Williams and Corey Backlund in the ring right now. Corey's not going to wrestle today, but we're going to be going to him in just a moment for uh, introductions of this big match coming up. Tell you who is going to be wrestling today, though. The men on a mission's Mo. I think most of you wrestling fans quite familiar with uh, Mo and Mabel, and Mo is joining us here today, his debut in the USWA as a single wrestler. That's the ceremony to you, Dave Brown. Listen, for three long years in the World Wrestling Federation, I've been part of a tag team known as Men on a Mission. And in those three long years, the credit always went to King Mabel. I have no reason or no understanding why, because I was always the brains of that team. I was always the man taking all the bumps, doing all the work, while he stood on the outside and took all the glory. Well, let me tell you something, Dave Brown. I'm here to get my glory. I'm here to get me some respect. I'm here to prove to all these stinking people out there in the wrestling world that I am a superior athlete and I can make it on my own. I'm going to start here.
with this little weakling, Tony, Tony Williams. And then you know who I'm going after next day, bro? The so-called USWA heavyweight champion. Brian Christopher, you snot-nosed little brat. I'm coming after you. Today is the day you meet the boogeyman. <laughs> Mo, Sir Mo, from Men on a Mission, headed to the ring. Let's do the same thing. Here's Corey. Okay, Dave, we're ready for action in one fall. Ten minutes. Time limit for this one at Men on a Mission, Sir Mo, before the bell jumps on. Tony Williams, the opponent, Bill Rush, the official referee, guys. All right, well, sorry about that, Corey. We had to wait there, and then uh, Mo jumps Tony Williams. Look at this press. I thought Tony Williams oh. had an upset very quickly. Beautiful move by Williams, but it's turned around as Mo came up with a knee lift, and he did it in a hurry. Kind of hard to see a guy like that can move that quick, but he moved that knee lift in there, changed the whole uh, outlook of this match as he nailed Tony and then follows it up and pounded it on him. He's had all the experience in the world. A little super kick uh, Mo style as he popped him. He was saying the so-called U.S. heavyweight champion, Brian Christopher. He is the U.S. heavyweight champion, Mo. In the backdrop, taking Mo, or taking uh, Tony Williams up and over. Tony gave him a battle early on, but Mo has taken control. Mo is a very large wrestler. Now, he referred to Mabel as the team partner for several years. He's even bigger. Well, this guy is big and solid. Look at Tony Williams take it down again. And again, he gets a count of two, but can't make it stick for a three count. It's hard for a guy of Tony's size to hold a guy the size of Mo down. Man, it's amazing. See that move? He did that. What did we get? A two count as Bill Rush is. Uh, he grabbed the hair and picked yeah, him up. Yeah, he picked him up. He picked him up. I don't know if he could have held it for three or not, but he certainly didn't try to pick him up by the hair. He was just to say, hey, I'm going to make a point here. Speaking of Brian Christopher, we've got Brian Christopher and Tracy Smothers in our main event today on this particular program. Come on, boy! That's just one of the outstanding list of things that we've got coming up. Wildfire Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert coming up later, too. Better believe it. Big knee back into the midsection again. Tony Williams out. There's what they call that Russian leg sweep as he hooks him and takes him right flat down. I'm impressed with the number of wrestling moves we've already seen from Mo. Gets a bad rap sometimes as uh, a brawling type of wrestler. And this guy, he has got some moves. And Williams again. And I mean, he had him hammered where he just took that head right straight down to the mat. Tony Williams out in the middle of the ring against Sir Mo. And Mo. Over to the ladder, climbs up the turnbuckles to the top rope. Referee Bill Rush tolling out. And he flies with that big elbow. There's a one, two, and it's all over. Sir Mo from Men on a Mission in his USWA single debut gets a victory over Tony Williams here today. Because he leaves the ring victorious first time around. Well, I got to tell you, he was impressive indeed as he came out with a victory with some... You already know! You don't have to tell these people nothing! Brian Christopher! I'm tired, brother, but Brian Christopher, beware! The boogeyman is after you! Hey, Mo, you've had your chance to get out what you had on your chest. Speaking of Brian Christopher, we're going to get Brian out here in just a little bit as we... Um, want to remind you that it was not that long ago, uh, as a matter of fact, that Jerry Lawler mentioned and brought out and we reintroduced, that is to say, at least in conversation, the Southern Heavyweight title, which was the original prestigious title for this entire area. And uh, many, many great champions have held that belt. And when it became the USWA Heavyweight title match, well, sir, we've got a guy that we are indeed proud of, he sometimes gets a little controversial, but, brother, nobody has ever doubted the fact that he can get in there and go with the best of them, as he proved in his last match when he went, to guy, went against a guy who was undefeated in the WWF for some time, Tatanka, and he ended up going against him. Here is Brian Christopher, the USWA. Thank you, Dave. I forgot to bring that out. Because this is what the purpose of it all is. The opportunity to get Brian over here. 
make a presentation of a brand new belt that is going to be presented to the current USWA heavyweight champion, Brian Christopher. Congratulations, Brian. And there it is. Is that not a beauty? That's the brand new belt. Let's let him get a good look at it right here. Well, I really appreciate it, Lance. This is a belt right here you can be proud of. And you know, you know, I've been on a roll ever since I beat Tommy Rich to become the new USWA heavyweight champion. And like I've always said, out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old belt, in with the new. Brian Christopher is the new. And I plan on remaining the champion for a long, long time, Lance. Well, of course, you know, and I don't have to tell you, there's a lot of guys that want to make sure that you don't. There's plenty of them standing in line to take a crack at that title. We heard from one just a little bit ago. That's right, sir, Mo. We heard from Tatanka last week. Yeah, you heard from me. You heard from me once. You've been out you here. You heard from me again. Let me tell you something, you little snot-nosed brat. You've been spoon-fed for a long time. Guess what? Now it's time to meet your maker, punk. Well, you've had your say about it. He's the man with a title. Listen. I've said it before, I don't like people coming out here on my interview time, and this is my interview time, and you're not supposed to be out here, so I'd appreciate it if you'd take your big, lord butt out through them curtains right there. Let me tell you something, Brian. I'm not going to stand out here and play a war of words with you. No, <laughs> that's not the plan. The plan is to beat you, to take that bell from you, and to end your stinky career. But I'm not going to do it out here right now. I'll get you later. Well, listen, if you beat him and take the belt, then you can come out here and start that kind of conversation. Well, Brian, that's just one of them right there. There's a lot more in the wings waiting for you Brian. Know, he, can, he can join the crowd because there's been Tommy Ridge, Doug Gilbert, Tatanka. They've all come out here and said they were going to beat me and take this belt. Well, they hadn't got the job done, and Sir Moe's not going to get the job done. I'm the champion. Like it or lump it. And with a brand new beautiful belt, congratulations again to Brian Christopher. And we wanted to introduce that new belt to the new champion. We'll take time out and be back in just a moment. Levy Auto Parts wants you to know before you go. Levy is your place to shop for quality used auto parts. Compare our prices to the competition. Right now, Levy is offering a special on select auto parts, such as rotors, distributors, wiper motors, water pumps, oil pans, and various other accessories. With a parts exchange, you pay only $10 plus tax. Levy Auto Parts, 1336 North 2nd, or call 526-0645. Know before you go. If you're like me, every now and then you get a big craving for shrimp. Then you're ready for Shoney's Big Old Shrimp Fest. Six classic American shrimp dishes starting at just $5.99. Fried, grilled, stir-fried, prepared fresh, made just the way you like it. Get a taste of everything in Shoney's Combination Platter. Mmm, Shoney's Big Old Shrimp Fest. Small price to pay for such a big taste. Mmm. It's a rodeo reduction at your Isuzu dealers. Hundreds of brand new rodeos are up for grabs, starting at just $2.29 a month. And that's with no down payment. Picking Blazer or Pathfinder? Then plan on paying more. Rodeo comes with standard dual airbags, the best warranty in the business, and it's yours for just $2.29 a month with no down payment. Isuzu is America's best-selling import sports utility, and we've got them. Price to move at just $2.29 a month. It's a rodeo reduction going on now at your Memphis Isuzu dealers. This is it. Through Monday, the final days of the Guatney Isuzu Zero Down 95 Gotta Go Clearance. With more 96s on the way, every new 95 Isuzu is marked down for immediate sale and delivery. With Zero Down, drive a new 95 and a half Isuzu Rodeo with air, stereo cassette, and more for as little as $2.29 a month. Or take home a new four-wheel drive trooper with air, tilt, stereo cassette, and more just $2.75 a month during the 95 Isuzu Zero Down Gotta Go Clearance at the number one selling Isuzu dealer in the Mid-South, Guatney Isuzu 2000 Covington Pies. Our USWA referee, Bill Rush, is in the ring to officiate this next bout. First introducing at a combined weight of 396 pounds. Out of parts unknown, the Yellow Jacket. And his partner out of Millington, Tennessee, Charlie Laird. Their opponents today, a combined weight of 403 pounds. 
wrestling from the hood. JCI's Whoopie D PG-13, the USWA Tag Team Champion. Let's go to Lance and Dave. Okay, Corey, the volatile PG-13 with their USWA tag belts around their waist. Boy, I was looking at Charlie Laird. I noticed him last week. This guy is really beefing up, uh, Dave. And yeah. He is uh, looking big. Who's going to be starting in here? Yellow Jacket will be starting for that team. Charlie Laird and Yellow Jacket uh, definitely have their work cut out for them today. This is a non-title match, but they're going against the tag team champions. Yellow Jacket tried to start it early by jumping Wolfie D in the corner. Wolfie just moved out of the way and grabbed him. And now Yellow Jacket finds himself flying all over the room. Wolfie D who actually, when you stand beside him, is a lot bigger than you may think he is. We talk about being in a little tanky. Double foot in the midsection, and they hammered his head down in the bat. Charlie Laird comes in, and look at that PG work together. They are a team. They're, they amaze me how well they work. It's almost like a, like, a, like a dance, a dancing partners, the way they move together. Look at that. Little tilt to world cover one, two, three. And J.C. Ice gets the pin on Charlie Laird and ends up with a very quick victory over the team of Yellow Jacket and Charlie Laird. There's a big lesson there. Teamwork is what does it. Teamwork is what did it here today, the victory for those guys. One of the things you always thrill when you see these guys, they're a little smart aleck sometimes, pardon me, but they are. But son of a gun, they look like they're having fun and they really put it on. Good win for BG-13. We've got more. Be back in a moment. The Dodge Magnum Power Surge. It's your chance to save up to $670 on Ram, America's hottest pickup. The truck ranked most appealing pickup by J.D. Power & Associates. The truck that delivers higher resale than Ford, Chevy, or GMC. But to get Magnum Power and savings, you'll have to move like, well, you know. America's Truck Stop. The new Dodge. Welcome to CNW Auto Sales and Salvage. We specialize in the lowest price and the best service on all glass and column repair. Motors, rotors, starters, radiators, front caps, all at the best price. I'm Easy Money. I'm Jamming Joel. Without a question. We're your Pars Connection. Let, Let us hook, hook you up. up. Hi, I'm Wanda Cat, owner of CNW Auto Sales and Salvage, and I'll pay you cash for your old junk car. We crush the competition! Captain D's wanted a big shrimp expert for the shrimp jubilee, so <laughs> naturally, they got Sparky here. Sparky says there's nothing better than the bite-sized shrimp, the eight-piece shrimp, the shrimp combo, and the new steamed shrimp platter, steamed and chilled to perfection. Each comes with all the extras, and they start at just $3.99. I can't say that. All right. He gives it his seal of approval. The shrimp jubilee at Captain D's. Dive in. Now you can buy a nice car, too. Credit problems? No problem. Come to Schaefer Motors at 3360 Elvis Presley Boulevard. If you have slow, weak, bad credit, no credit, bankrupt, we can help. We have late model cars at prices you can't afford. No insurance required. Trade-ins welcome. If you've ever been denied credit at other area dealers, we can help. Down payments as low as $5.99 and approval in one hour. Come by 3360 Elvis Presley between Winchester and Brooks Road for a fine pre-owned car. use a big buzzword in fast food these days, more for less. The only problem is it's more of this stuff. At Arby's, we believe in more and better. Our five buck roundup gives you your choice of three beef and cheddars dripping with cheddar cheese sauce, or four famous roast beef sandwiches, or five barbecue sandwiches and smothered tangy barbecue sauce. Not just more food, better food. Taste why it's better out here. The five buck roundup at Arby's. 
Hi, folks. The 95 sales results are in, and Sunrise is no longer number one in 46 states. Sunrise is now the number one volume Pontiac and GMC dealer in 47 states, and we're celebrating. 700 new cars and trucks to choose from with celebration savings up to seven and $8,000. Over a million-dollar used car inventory with a lot specializing in cars and trucks under $29.95. Immediate financing with next to nothing down, free hot dogs, Cokes, and balloons for the kids. Tennessee's number one volume Pontiac and GMC dealer for six years running Sunrise, the ugliest building on Covington Pike, Memphis. USWA Wrestling is brought to you in part by Bill Blake Insurance, now with a new location at Getwell and Rhodes. Hey! <laughs> the King out here with us, and uh, one of the reasons we got him out here, we wanted to talk a little bit about the sensational show last week down in the Mid-South Coliseum. What a crowd! I want to tell you, Lance, it was, it was fantastic to see Nearly 10,000 people in the Mid-South Coliseum once again to see wrestling. It was fantastic. And I just, you know, uh, even though I was really disappointed uh, that, that I didn't come out the champion on this thing, I really felt I won the match. I mean, it, you know, I, I, I knew there were going to be a lot of Bret Hart fans there, and there were. But I think he realized that there were a lot more Jerry Lawler fans in the Mid-South yeah, I believe you're right about that. And, you know, I really wanted to win that thing, and, and, and in that match, you know, uh, it was a situation where you had to go either, you had to get out of the cage, either going over the top or through the cage door. And I had him, I thought, just where I want him. I started heading for the door, and I turned around, I saw him crawling out, the, you know, trying to go over the top of the cage. But I really thought my feet hit the floor of the Coliseum before Bret Hart said, I heard a big cheer, but WWF referee, and, uh, you know, I have raised my hands, and he went around and he said, King, I believe Bret Hart's hit, feet hit the floor first. So he's still the champion, but uh, I just felt great for Memphis. I mean, the, the Memphis fans were there once again to support wrestling. It was a super crowd. I want to thank everybody for coming out. What about the USWA wrestlers? I mean, did we show, did we make a oh, show? Oh, yeah. It was fantastic. Here, Brian Christopher beat Tatanka, who, Tatanka is one of the top, top WWF superstars for years now. Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert, you got to give the devil their Give them the credit. I mean, here they are in a triple threat triangle match with two of the top WWF tag teams, and who wins the whole shebang? Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert. And then Double J went out there, and it, barring an unfortunate, I mean, you know, if it hadn't been for an unfortunate uh, injury to Double J's back, I think he had Ahmed Johnson on the ropes. Fortunately, he didn't use, lose the unified title. And uh, so, you know, I just thought that everything went great for the USWA, and I, like I said, I want to thank all the, all the nearly 10,000 people that showed up, and, and, I, and I want them to realize that... Um, you know, it, I don't know how many years, it hadn't been all that many years ago, Lance, that wrestling in Memphis was the thing to do. I mean, it's a great thing to bring your family to. It's a great place to go and have fun. And it's still there every week with the U.S. Every single week. You're absolutely right about that, King. And I got to tell you, I'm glad you said it because we were talking uh, after last Saturday how proud we were of the USWA and how they came through in that great day. Right, and you know, I know this was, uh, I, I took up a little bit of time where this was the opportunity that you guys used to take to tell everybody how they can get tickets to uh, studio wrestling. So what, what I thought I would do is uh, I would give a, or take this opportunity to give away some studio wrestling tickets myself. And, you know, I thought of a great thing I could do, Lance. All right. I mean, you know, you and I both, we, we, we live in Memphis. We go all around places in Memphis all week long, and I always have people everywhere I go. People say, hey, King, got any wrestling tickets? Yep, yep. Happens all the time, doesn't it, right? Yep. Well, this afternoon, I got to go get a haircut. Same place. You and I get our haircut at the same place, right? right. Perfect cut. Uh, it's uh, I'm gonna be. It's going to be at uh, it's 5731 Raleigh LaGrange Road. Uh, a perfect cut. And I'm going to be out there getting a haircut this afternoon. You want to drop by, I'll be there between 1 and 3. I'll have free wrestling tickets. And uh, I may even bring a few tickets for Monday, or for, uh, it's going to be Wednesday this week, right? Wednesday night wrestling at the Coliseum. So come on by. Hey, we'll get our hair cut together and uh, get some free wrestling tickets, okay? There you go. And tell Gina to be ready for me. I'll be out there Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> okay, right now we want to talk about that Wednesday action that's coming up down at the Mid-South Coliseum. A great card coming down and with Jeff Jarrett. With Jeff Jarrett's uh, situation where they really don't know when Jeff is going to be back in action in there, it puts a new uh, look.
look at it, and so we'll tell you about that in regards to the main event. Nick. Yes, indeed. Opening match. So 7.30 it begins Wednesday night, February 28th, Mid-South Coliseum. The USWA is back in the roundhouse. First match of the night, Derek Domino and Harvey Lewis will be going against Spellbinder and Tony Williams. Well, I don't know much about Domino and Harvey Lewis, but I know Tony Williams is a battler, witnessed the first match here today, and the Spellbinder, boy, he's had quite a record lately. Should be a good opener. And then Miss Texas is going to be in a match which she wants. Now, you'd say, hey, that's not right. Two men in there against Miss Texas. Believe me, they're overmatched because it'll be a handicap match with Miss Texas against Scott Bowden and Brandon Baxter. A grudge match as a result of something that happened right here on television last week. We'll talk more about it later. Tracy yeah. Smothers with Brandon Baxter against his former partner, Jesse James Armstrong. You want to see some pure action, I can promise you that the very next match is going to be nothing but that. We're talking about when dangerous Doug Gilbert and wildfire Tommy Rich climb in there to challenge the USWA tag title champion, PG-13. Brother, they've hated each other a while, and they're going to take it all out when it gets together coming up next Wednesday night. The USWA heavyweight champion is Brian Christopher. He's got a brand new belt presented here just moments ago. Sir Mo from Men on a Mission from the WWF is going to be in here as a single. He's already said, look, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for the belt. He gets his chance Wednesday night at the Coliseum. And then the main event. What a dandy. This is going to be a 10-man elimination a tag team match with the winner, the number one contender for the unified world title. This is going to be a bout that will have them all in there. Jerry the King Lawler. Too Sexy, Brian Christopher, Wolfie D, JCI, Jesse James Armstrong, The Spellbinder, Tommy Wildfire Rich, Dangerous Doug Gilbert, Tracy Smothers, and Sir Mo. And it takes on even greater consequences now with Jeff being injured. Uh, we don't know exactly what uh, Bill Superstar Dundee walks into the studio. So the winner of that will be the number one contender. Bill, I saw you a little bit earlier. I uh, didn't know you were going to be out here on television with us. I thought you were just dropping by to say hi. Well, I was. Then I got to thinking about it. Just like Lawler says, they come up to heaven to say, you got any wrestling tickets? Well, you know what they say to me when I walk down the street in Memphis? Where are you being, superstar? Well, I'm out here to tell you. And that's why you look a little queamish, because you usually tell the truth, Lance Russell. Okay. And how do you do the Bill, old... Bill, you, Bill, you we can do this again another time. Oh, we no, we no, got... No. You know... We're going to do it today, brother. I drove by today to do it today, because it's been bothering me since September the 8th in Ripley, Tennessee. You know what they said to me? I caused an altercation in the dressing room. Well, it takes two to do that. So, okay, so this is the wrestling business. That's what it's all about. So we get nose to nose. But it's all Bill's fault come the ninth, because when I got here to this TV station, you was here. Mr. Coffee comes running up to me and he says, Bill, please, Bill, let's not get into that. Oh, this has no, no place No, 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 right no, no, no. All you folks that they want to hear it or don't you? Yeah, right. Okay, so Mr. Coffee runs up to me and he says, Randy Hale wants to talk to you. Oh, I figure, well, you're down in the production room, that's what you do. So I go down there. Who's there? You, Dave Brown, and Corey. And what do you all do? You all get up and you leave. And you know what Randy Hale Well, does? I wish you would right now. We'll finish this and talk about it after it's like, hey. You know what Randy Hale does? Now, come on. He looks at me and he says, Bill, you are fired. I said, on what? He said, you are fired. I said, why? He said, you know why. Hey, brother, it takes two to dance. It takes two to do a lot of things. And I never done it all by myself. But they fired me. 20 years I've been around here, blood, sweat, and tears. And they keep... Brian Christopher, the only thing he does, he goes, ah! and he thinks he's great. Then you got PG-13. Yeah, one of them's my son. They got stupid shorts on. They got sneakers on. Couldn't beat the way of a brown paper bag. And they fire me. No, sir. So, and you was in on it, because you could have come oh, I wasn't in on any of it, Bill, and I think it's very inappropriate. As long as we've been around together, you come out here and start this stuff, Jamie. Hi, Lance. Hi, Dad. How you doing? Good to see you, man. I'm glad to see you. How well, are I'm you? I'm glad you finally woke up, walked out here with that wolf you need to team up with your old dad. How are you? Well, no, wait. Huh? First of all, I didn't come out here to team up with you. I come out here to tell you that what you're doing is embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing me, J.C. Ice. I don't want to be your partner. Not that 
you're the greatest wrestler in the world because I don't want to ride on the Dundee name. I made a name as J.C. Ice, right or wrong? Yeah. My boy, I made a name as Jason. I didn't want to be Jamie Dundee for the fact that they would say he's where he is because of Bill Dundee, and I did not want that, Dad. Well, That's let me, all. Well, whatever way you want it, I got you in the wrestling business. And talk about being embarrassing. It took that idiot that you drive up and down the road with till he was 22 to get a driver's license. It took him eight times to drive oh, out of the road. And you're yeah. telling me how embarrassing it is? He couldn't get himself yeah. lost in UK. But either. you wasn't even he scheduled must... to be here today, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sit out here talking about somebody not having a driver's license, somebody getting fired. Yeah, you're right, you got fired. And it wasn't just nose to nose, Bill Dundee, and you know that. It had something a little more to do with just nose to nose, didn't it? Yeah, they fired you because of what you did. And I shouldn't be out here talking about yeah, this please, on the air. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll let Dave Meltzer tell everybody about it in the sheets. That's what we'll do. Yeah, Bill Dundee, you got fired. That's right. I didn't. I don't like you, and I hate your guts, and it ain't nothing. Okay. Hey, look, this guy don't care about you. This guy don't care about me. He don't care about himself, man. You don't need him. Get out of here, man. Come on. Well, I'm telling you, Bill, already, it's just what I said. You end up stirring up trouble now. You knew you'd come out here in the name of truth, and you get yourself right into the middle of a... Problem, well, right? let me ask you this, brother. I never even got a trial, but the time I got there, they just said you're fired. So we got, so we got nose to nose. So we do whatever. But it don't make no never mind, Lance. It takes two to do whatever it is you're doing. They should have fired other guy as well as me. In fact, they shouldn't even be here. You're out here talking about 10,000 people the last time you was at the Coliseum. I know what you're hey, talking about. None of them ever drew 10 people to come see them. I'm the guy at dinner. You're around. sitting here talking about things that uh, ended up that have no business right. being talked about okay. out here, and you got to come out here and start bringing all this stuff up. We don't need that kind of conversation. Oh. King, thank God there's somebody out here to see the light and tell all them people what it's all about. <laughs> well, I don't know if I've seen the light or not, Bill, but I've seen the fact that you've uh, come here today uninvited. But now I'm not, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it because some of the things you're saying are right, but, Bill, some of the things you're saying are not right. So, um... Probably the best thing that we could do. I mean, hey, you're right in the fact that Bill Dundee, Jerry Lawler, you know, hey, we were a great tag team. We've been on both sides of the fence. We've had some big battles against each other, too. But that's, the, you know, that's water under the bridge. Uh, this stuff about Wolfie D and J.C. Ice, that's a whole different story. And I don't think, uh, I, can't, I can't say that you're right coming out here and talking about it. Why don't we go, you and I, let's go to the back and we can talk about it back there. Sounds like a very good idea. Bill, we're always glad to see you, but not in the middle of a All show right. out here. He knows what's going on, and he saw the light, brother, and he knows what's right. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> we have uh, got plenty to go here. We're going to get to it in just one moment. It's the Great Percent event at your local Ford dealer. Ford Credit has lowered interest rates to 4.8% for 48 months on 11 popular 1996 models. There's even 4.8 financing or $600 cash back on the number one selling Ford Ranger and 96 Ford F-150. Your choice, 4.8 financing or $600 cash back. That's 4.8 for 48 or $600 cash back, but you've got to hurry during the Great Percent event going on now at your local Ford dealer. If you're like me, every now and then you get a big craving for shrimp. Then you're ready for Shoney's Big Old Shrimp Fest. Six classic American shrimp dishes starting at just $5.99. Fried, grilled, stir-fried, prepared fresh, made just the way you like it. Get a taste of everything in Shoney's Combination Platter. Mmm, Shoney's Big Old Shrimp Fest. Small price to pay for such a big taste. Mmm. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, Forced to ride the bus because you don't have auto insurance? Call AI Network. 
It's tough finding glasses that fit perfectly. So Lens Crafters invented a new measuring system called AccuFit that measures the size of your face. Well, 10, okay. I remember that. Once you've been measured, finding the right glasses is simple. I like these. Um, okay. The size is clearly marked on the frame, so you'll know which one is right for you. Here. Only Lens Crafters has AccuFit. We're able to get the correct size the first time and satisfy the customer with the best quality glasses. It's a nice fit. That's what we do here. Lens Crafters, helping people see better, one hour at a time. Okay, last week we had one right here. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that I'm telling you uh, was a little surprising. Uh, Brandon Baxter was involved as he was uh, handling the team of Smothers and Jesse James Armstrong, and we ended up with some problems. Uh, it was one of those things that just really didn't make a total amount of sense until all of a sudden we saw a payoff later on. Let's take a look. We got some videotape of what happened last time. In the ring. Smothers is out of the ring. Wolfie D's got him. Baxter's got the flag now. Climbing the rope. Jesse James Armstrong, a cover. One, two, he got it! Yeah, we got new champion! It backfires on Brandon Baxter not once but twice, and PG-13 has regained the USWA Tag Team title. I cannot believe what just happened. That's what I get, I guess, for hiring a man who can't do the job. You are the man who cost us the belts. You are nothing but a stupid, idiotic moron. You are a loser. You cost me those belts. You cost me those belts. He cost you the belts, too. You are nothing but a loser. L-O-S-E-R, you loser. Is that the best you can do? You shut up and listen to me. I am the reason we had those stinking belts to begin with. Now, you know my last name, boy, and you know that Armstrong means nothing but winners in this sport. Bottom line is just this. I didn't never need no 110-pound punk to help me win. I don't give a dang what kind of contracts you signed me to. You smell what I'm cooking? 120 pounder? You listen to me. That money I promised you, you want it still? You better shape up. You are a loser. I do not manage losers. I don't manage losers. And to me, money ain't everything, Brandon Baxter. To me, money ain't everything. What are you talking about? Tracy Smothers, he's got that rebel flag standard, just beat the fool right out of his partner, or former partner, Jesse James Armstrong. And Brandon Baxter was decked by Armstrong, and then Tracy jumped in from behind and nailed him, busted it, and a check changed hands. We could see it from here, from Baxter to Tracy. That's what we do with losers. That's what we do. Well, mm. <laughs> irritates me every time I see that back there. Hey, we got some action in here, and let's go to Corey. Okay, Lancer, we're ready for it. One fall, 10-minute time limit, 226 pounds. On a Morristown, New Jersey, Tony Myers and his opponent making his way into the ring area, 253 pounds. From Marietta, Georgia, Jesse James Armstrong. Referee for our next Jesse James Armstrong probably saw the same videotape you did. As a matter of fact, he's you probably been replaying that up. scene. That's Brandon like Baxter. Right now, do you hear me? This man is nothing but a loser. He cost us those tag team belts. That means he's also cost myself and Tracy Smothers all kinds of money. He is nothing but a loser, a low life. I made Jesse James Armstrong, and I promise you, I will break Jesse James Armstrong. He is nothing. He is nothing without being led by Brandon Baxter. When he was the USWA heavyweight champion, who won him the belt? It was Brandon Baxter. When I left, he lost the belt. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a loser. He does not even deserve to be in my presence. Speaking of losers, 
Your team not only lost the belt, you lost the team. They don't even exist anymore. No chance to get the belts back. The team doesn't exist. Because I surround myself with only the top guys. Look at that. Yeah, I got him now. He's killing him. He's a loser. Do you see that? Just don't. exactly what I told you. Tony Myers going in on Jesse baby. James Armstrong. And Armstrong reverses it on him. He moves left as he nailed in the corner. As Jesse James wrestling as a single today, no longer with Tracy Smothers and Brandon Baxter. Gets a cover, one, two. Armstrong not going for the three count. He picked him up, so no, uh not yet. I'm not through with him. Wrestling right there. Do you see that? Jesse James Armstrong has been had. Yeah, I saw him poke him in the eye, and of course. I can't say that Jesse James hadn't done the same thing. Oh, whoa, he missed him. That hurts. This man doesn't have a clue. I've been up and down the road with him. He's nothing but a complete and total moron. Armstrong, one, two, three. He just got lucky. Only That's all it is. You Goes down. You just wait until you have to face Tracy Smothers. When you face Tracy Smothers, you will get destroyed, you... Hey, let's get this straight right now. Last week, you just got... Whoa, whoa. Hey, we need to turn it down a notch. We need to turn it down a notch, baby. I just got back from vacation. I was out in Mardi Gras. Now, there's a real party city, Dave Brown. They got Bourbon Street out there that makes Bill Street look like Sesame Street. You know what I'm saying? And I was sitting there partying, having a good time, and I get a fax in my hotel telling me that not only am I no longer the manager of the World Tag Team Champions, but my number one team has split up. That's right. Thanks to him. I was told on the fax that Brandon Baxter, my associate, fired this man. Right. More, more, more than fired him. Well, I got news for Brandon Baxter. Brandon, it's B&B &B Enterprises. Bowden and Baxter, you can't fire anybody without my consent. And what I'm out here today to do, that's exactly right. What I'm out here today, I'm going to save us. I'm going to put us back together. This is ridiculous, man. You and Tracy Smothers are a natural combination, man. You go together like welfare and all these people. I mean, y'all were meant to be together, man. We, let's go back to the top. Let's put it behind us. Brandon, I've, I've got him straight now. I promise you, this will not happen again. I'm willing to do it for one reason. You're right. We are well oiled, and there's no but tag team, not only in this federation, but any federation can beat me and Tracy Smothers. One condition, that punk right there keeps his, his mouth out of my face or I break his stinking neck. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, well, I told you right now, I've got everything under control. Everything is under control. And what I want right now, Brandon, I want you to apologize to this man. And I'm not asking, Brandon. I'm telling you, this is a lot of money at stake here, my man. We're associates, 50-50. Apologize to this man right now. Well, Jesse James Armstrong, I guess it was just as much my fault that we lost the tag team belts as it was yours. So, right now, because Scott wants us to, I apologize. Let's go ahead and reform the tag team. Let's shake on. Come on, baby. Together again, man. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you, 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 you heard that apology, right? That's right. right my face and this stuff won't happen again. Oh, man, no, wait. Wait, put it behind us. It's behind us now, man. You got it, man. You got it. Me and Tracy Smothers been friends a long time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. That's the kind of friends you get when you hang out with Baxter and Bowden. Jesse James Armstrong being jumped from behind by Tracy Smothers, and he's taken a real fondness to that jumping people from behind, Dave. Last week, he beat him with his... Randy Hale's coming out along with referee Bill Rush to get him out of here. You think I won't? You're disgraceful. Why don't you just hit the road and get out? You're Holy BNB Enterprises handles losers and white trash, baby. I believe that. You handle everything in a way. friends. That's me, myself, and I. Right from behind. We'll take a break and be back in just a moment. Now you can buy a nice car, too. Credit problems? No problem. 
Come to Schaefer Motors at 3360 Elvis Presley Boulevard. If you have slow, weak, bad credit, no credit, bankrupt, we can help. We have late model cars at prices you can't afford. No insurance required. Trade-ins welcome. If you've ever been denied credit at other area dealers, we can help. Down payments as low as $5.99 and approval in one hour. Come by 3360 Elvis Presley between Winchester and Brooks Road for a fine pre-owned car. There's a hard-working gasoline. You sure about this? With the power to drive down maintenance costs. Really? Are you serious? Yes, we are. Exxon gasoline keeps your engine cleaner. Clean is good. So it can help drive down maintenance costs. Could gas do that? Exxon gasoline can, with the power to drive down maintenance costs. It's a good idea. And so is this. Cash and credit prices are the same. Okay, I'll try it. People stopping by to rely. The Dodge Magnum Power Surge. It's your chance to get $1,000 off any Dakota, up to $3,500 off club cabs. It's your chance to save on the truck that beats Ranger, S10, and Sonoma on resale, and a whole lot more. But to get Magnum Power and Magnum Savings, you'll have to move like, well, you know, at America's Truck Stop, the new Dodge. Let's do in the cheese world. Feta cheese is big, Dave. Anything else? Try the pepper jack. Wow. This would spice up a bacon cheeseburger. Give me a thousand pounds. Sliced. It's Wendy's new pepper jack bacon cheeseburger. A quarter pound of fresh beef, spicy pepper jack cheese, three strips of bacon, and the perfect sauce. Great cheeseburger, Dave. Sure beats feta. Sure beats feta. I just said that. Come try Wendy's new Pepper Jack Bacon Cheeseburger today. And now, Biggie size any Wendy's combo with great Biggie fries and a Biggie drink for just 39 cents extra. Oh, man, it doesn't get any easier, bud. Mm. I'm telling you what, Thank would you. you guys like uh, Tracy Smothers, Smothers around in here? Around I mean, I'm telling you, Tracy Smothers has gotten where he just, he can't look a guy in the eye. He's a good wrestler, and yet he's taken to the stuff of catching people from behind. Boy. We have action out of town, and Mr. Corey's a man that keeps up with all of it. Hey, I want to tell you about it. It begins tonight, Jonesboro, Arkansas, tonight. Not far from now, 8 o'clock is bell time, Earl Bell Community Center. Hey, now the box office will open at 3 o'clock today. Box office opens at 3 p.m. Advanced tickets on sale at Front Page Cafe, or you can call uh, area code 501-932-8885 for more information for wrestling tonight. Earl Bell Community Center in Jonesboro, big main event down there tonight, Lance, with that 10-man Anything Goes marathon match last 30 minutes. Boy, I got to tell you what, that match is one of the best matches I've seen in the last two or three months, oh, that yeah. marathon match. They get in there, and it seems to stir them up, and they really get going harder and harder trying to get those pins in because it's the one that's got the most pins. What a great match that is going to be in Jonesboro. No doubt about it. And you see the names that will participate in that marathon match tonight and a special challenge match, last chance, Brandon Baxter versus Jonesboro's own Randy Hales down at the Earl Bell Community Center tonight. Hey, Wednesday night, Mid-South Coliseum USWA action returns to the Coliseum Wednesday night, 7.30 bell time, as the USWA returns with an all-star card. What a night of action. Of course, Lance and Dave will keep you informed on the entire card that's coming up down there. Wednesday night, Mid-South Coliseum. Hope to see you down there with us Wednesday. Friday night, March the 8th, Truman, Arkansas. With USWS on there at the old community house, 7.30 bell time. The King, Jerry Lawler on the card. Brian Christopher, PG-13, Rich and Gilbert, Tracy Smothers, Jesse James Armstrong. Advanced tickets are on sale now for wrestling in Truman, Arkansas, March the 8th. Friday, March 15th, Paragool, Arkansas. There at the B.C. Lord Building at the fairgrounds, 7.30 bell time for wrestling in the Paragool. Wednesday, March the 20th. Well, we'll be back in Tunica, Lance, down at the Sheraton Casino. USW Rest in Action. Boy, it is exciting down there. Isn't and it? I sure. got to tell you, it's a great place to have it, without a question. Friday, March the 22nd, Blyville, Arkansas, National Guard Armory on Division Street. 8 p.m. bell time there in Blyville. And Friday, March 29th, in Cherry Valley, Arkansas, 8 o'clock bell time. That is USWA Championship Wrestling on Tour. Be sure to uh, get to it when it's in your town. Jonesboro tonight, Coliseum Wednesday night. Lance. You're right about that, Mr. Corey, son of a gun. Well, I hope you got him straightened out here. I'm always glad to see Bill, but he does get a little volatile sometimes.
Oh, a little bit, but you know, that's Bill Dundee. Yes, it is. I want to talk just a second about the fact, well, you know, something that Corey just talked about. Going to be over in Jonesboro, Arkansas tonight. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody over there. Uh, don't forget the haircut, one to three today. <laughs> We're going to be doing that. But I want to talk about this Wednesday night. And, uh, you know, last Saturday, didn't get the opportunity to win the goal there. But uh, this Wednesday night is another opportunity to get what I feel like is uh, rightfully mine. You know how I feel about the Unified World Heavyweight Championship, the belt that I unified. And, you the uh, man. <laughs> no, you the man. <laughs> but anyway, there's going to be a 10-man elimination match for this. And uh, as a matter of fact, like, like uh, we were talking earlier, you know, with Jeff's back injured, I don't even know if he's going to. This is to determine the number one contender. But, I mean, uh, Jeff just may have to hand over that belt to whoever wins this thing because his back is in bad shape. If he can't defend in 30 days, what happens? Has to be taken away, unfortunately. Bell goes by. But it does make this uh, big main event match going to be more significance to it for the number one contender. Oh, without a doubt. That's why I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, it's, it's, I don't like to go out and, and promise that I'm going to win matches because it's, you know, it's, it's a... When, whenever you step in the ring, you never know exactly what's going to happen. So I'm not going to make a promise, but I am going to say this. I want to warn each and every one of these ten guys, or these other nine guys that's going to be in this match. I'm talking to Brian Christopher, J.C. Ice, Wolfie D., Tommy Rich, Doug Gilbert. Each and every one of you guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care what it takes. I don't care what I have to do. I'm not going to be in there to win any popularity contest Wednesday night. I'm going to be in there to win the title. And I want to be, I'm going to tell you right now, no matter what it takes, no matter what I have to do, I'm going to do it, brother. You don't often make those kind of promises, as you said. And here comes uh, Bill again. Bill, I had hoped we'd gotten this all straight. Answer, let me ask you. You know what the word hoodwink means? Yeah, I think I do, Bill. Well, I just got hoodwinked. You know, by, by him. What did he say when he came out here? What are you talking about? He said, we'll go to the back and we'll talk about the situation. That's right. He never said a word when we got back there. He just said, nice to see you, Bill. And off he walked. Now, I ask you. Now, another thing I'm going to ask no, you. No, let me tell you something. Oh, no, no. The reason that he did that was because he knows it's inappropriate for you to be out here discussing dirty laundry. tell me something. We got here. nose to nose and I all got right. fired. That's what it was all about and that's what it's all about now. I would like somebody to go fire the other two guys that got involved, not just me. Look, Bill, why they... don't you quit talking about that? As Lance has tried to tell you, and everybody's tried to tell you, and that's why I came out here. This is not the time. It's not the place. Now, that's, your, that's been your problem here, Bill. Like you said, you know, we've been on both sides of the fence, and that's exactly why. It's because of your mouth. You run that mouth, and you let that mouth a lot of times make promises that your body can't keep. And what you also do is you run your mouth so much that half of the guys in the dressing room can't stand you, Bill. Now, the fans, the fans see Bill Dundee, Mr. Nice Guy, that comes out here, tries to be nice, tries to please everybody, but they don't see you when you're back in the dressing room trying to tell all the other wrestlers how great you are. Now, you don't, certainly don't endear yourself to them, and that's where you got into trouble to begin with, and you shouldn't be out here talking about it. That's why I came out to get rid of you. All right, well, seeing we got all that off your chest, let me get this other thing off my chest. How can you have a 10-man match for a belt that I ain't in? How can you really do that? I've whooped this guy more times than anybody. Well, you want me to give you the simple yeah, answer is because you don't work for this company, Bill. I think that's right. simple And that was politics. I'm going back to where I get just treated with respect. Ozark man wrestling. Burt Prentice at least if he tells you something, it happens. And he got fired okay, for the same Bill. thing. You got rid of Burt Prentice because you got jealous of him. Said he stole the belt off you. Now, here's the other thing. When I beat you for the belt... Tommy, I wrestled some idiot from the WWF. Tommy Rich runs out, drops me on my head. He climbs on top, and they said he was the winner. So I come to the back. I said, Mr. Eddie Marlin, give me a rematch. He said, there was no rematch contact. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how you got to wrestle Razor Ramon, and I didn't. Everything that happens around here, you can get done, Kingfish. You got that match right out from under me. Now put me in this one. Bill, it's done. It's a 10-man match, and that is all there is to it. You're not working for the company. We, look, we'll talk about this, I promise you, as long as you want to after the show is over. But we've got a lot of matches. We've got a big main event. Thank you very much for being out here. You're Jerry, not in it. You're not in it. All right. Well, That's just before answer. I leave, I used to have a lot of respect for you. I used to have more respect for him, I guess, than anybody else. But you know what I do to people I got no respect for no more? I have... Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Well, in a typical tactful way that Bill Dundee handles most things, he comes out here and spits all over. Jerry, I'm sorry about it, and that is the way that goes. Mm. Now, let me just say this. Bill Dundee, you want to be out here on this TV? Get your ass back out here right now, pal. I'm telling you right now, get out here. No, hey, come on, you want to spit on somebody? You want to be involved in a match? You got a match, me and you, Dundee, so come on back out here right now. No, If he thinks he's going to spit in my face and get away with it, man, I'll kick his teeth out, I'll kick his false teeth out, and I'll kick his butt all the way back to Australia. Get out here, Dundee. I don't blame you for being mad yet. Thank you, Randy. Let's get this thing back on track. Can I talk to you in the back? No, you cannot talk to me in the back. You can talk to me right now. No, you can get Dundee's butt right out here right now. And you can, I'll tell you what you can do. He wants a match. You can make a match. Now, I don't care about the 10-man match. You can make a match. Me and Dundee, make it. Right now, he wants it. I know you're mad about him, but calm down and listen to me. He ain't gonna spit in my face, Randy. I understand. Get away listen, with it. listen. What's the match? Make the match. Listen to me. I, after that, Ripley, I spent all night long deciding on the situation. We got to TV. Bill Dundee is not employed by this company. He doesn't work here. He's never gonna work here. He was suspended, and I'm not gonna add the match. Bill Dundee's not gonna work for this company again. Eddie Marlin agreed, Jerry Jarrett agreed, and Jerry, you understand, we can't allow things like he did. No, why don't you we, just I do this? Condone. Why don't you hire him back for one night, me and him, then you can fire him again. I'm telling no, you. No, you won't have to fire him again, because believe me, when I get through with this little scrawny butt, you won't ever worry about seeing Bill Dundee again. I, one night, hire him back. I am not going to, we'll have to get a contract, we'll have to pay him, and I'm not going to do it, Jerry, nothing against you, but Bill Dundee is not going to be on any card I have anything to do with. He's disrupted this whole TV, he spit at you, and he's, yeah, he's no nuts. lies. So that's no, it's no big deal to you. He spit on me, and I ain't going to let him get away with it. I'll tell you what, hey, Dundee, Dundee, if you got the guts, why don't you just show up Wednesday night? We'll make it. It don't have to be a sanctioned match. He don't have to work for USWA. After all the other matches are over, Bill Dundee, I'll walk out to the middle of that ring in the Coliseum. Have you got the guts enough to say that you walk out there? You don't have to pay me for the match. Don't pay Dundee for the match. You got the guts, Dundee? You want to spit on somebody? Show up down there Wednesday night. If you got any guts, after all the other matches are over, I will kick your rear end, like I said, all the way back from the, to the land down under from where you came, you little sawed-off runt. Has he got the gun? Will he show up? I don't know. I'll go see. I just don't want him to get... I'm sure you understand, too. I don't want him to get a dime from this gun. Hey, Dundee, you want to prove yourself? You say you can whip the king anytime you step in the ring with him? Come on down. No money involved. You still ain't working for the USWA. This is just me and you. This is just personal, pal. Have you got the guts, Dundee? Okay, well, I... Okay, well, yeah, check. I haven't seen the king that mad in a long, long time. We're going to take time out. We've got still a big show to go. Be back to it in a moment. At the Happy Hawker, you'll find all kinds of merchandise at incredible savings. If you like to pay reasonable prices when you buy musical instruments, cameras, TVs and VCRs, tools, even jewelry, china and antiques, or you're the kind of person who really searches for just the right gift at just the right price, then you may make a great pawn shopper. If you need cash fast, we have the lowest rates on loans. Ask about Happy Hawker's VIP program and visit either location, 975 East Parkway South or 196 South Cooper. We're building a lot of great things here in Memphis, like the reputation for service and value from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. You can save up to 50% on your car insurance. At Bill Blake, you get instant SR22 filing with low monthly payments. Solve your car insurance problems and save money. Call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you. Dodge Dakota, the midsize pickup with an attitude. Covington Pike Dodge has America's only midsize truck, the Dakota. 
two-wheel or four-wheel drive, V6 or V8 engine, the largest towing capacity of any mid-size truck with more shoulder, hip, and interior room than any compact. The Dodge Dakota, quicker, sportier, more agile at Covington Pike Dodge, where we'll do whatever it takes to put you in a new Dodge Dakota. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, at Covington Pike Dodge. The choice is yours with incredible sofa savings for you at Fleming's. We've reduced the price on seven of our best-selling Bassett sofas to just $4.99 this week only. Choose from this Bassett traditional sofa, $4.99. Casual Comfort, $4.99. Contemporary Classic, $4.99. Country Classic, Transitional Looks, Great Room Looks, and American Home Styles. Seven great choices, two great quality names, all at one low price. With no interest, no payment to August. Yes, the choice is yours, and the choice is easy. Your choice is Fleming's. online with Interaction News 5. Email your electronic message to us, send us a viewer fax, or leave us a voicemail message. Any way you choose, any time of the day, we're the Mid-South's only interactive Action News 5. So I say to her, now that we're together, let's uncomplicate our lives and use my multivitamins. No way, she says. She shows me that Woman's Ultra Mega has folic acid, calcium, and iron. GNC's Woman's Ultra Mega. It's made for her, just like I am. It's going to be a great day in the Mid-South, because through Monday, any trade goes at Midway Ford. Even if you drive a clunker or a junker, you'll still get top dollar for your trade, paid for or not. And up to $2,000 rebates or 4.8% financing. Here's a 96 F-150 XLT. Just $196 a month. Through Monday, any trade goes. If you're out to save, Midway Ford is on your way. Between Germantown and Collierville on East Poplar. The home of cheap prices. Sally, Monday on WMC TV 5. For a great USWA action coming up in just a moment right here in the ring. Before we get to that, though, I want to take just a minute to uh, give a couple of guys a chance to say what they want to say. And this is not who I had in mind. Here comes Scott Bowden leading the way out here. Doug Gilbert and uh, Wildfire Tommy Rich headed this way, too. You know... I got news for those two Frazier High School dropouts, PG-13 and J.C. Ice. School is back in session, baby, and you're looking at the teachers, the professors of pain, Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert. It's going to be a long, hard lesson, boys. Well, the, the match coming up here against the champion should indeed be a tough one. You know what, Dave Brown? You've got PG-13. They run out here and they run their mouth about how tough they are. They've been USWA Tag Team Champions about eight or nine times but what's that mean they've lost them eight times and about four of those times they've lost them they've lost them to us now tommy after this week i don't really see any more of bg13 to you and dave brown by the way i've heard people out here talking a little earlier it makes me wonder about things see everything's not always heard what i would like to do right now you know, there's a lot of people around here that's got yellow streaks right down their back, haven't they, Tommy? There's a lot of people that dodge. There's a lot of people that run. There's a lot of people that hide. Now, what I'm going to say right now, J.C. Ice, Wolfie D, if you've got one little gut in your body, I want you to come out here right now and face me and Tommy Rich face to face right out here david they don't need to do that you've got a match book later on with them and uh you know that should suffice get in the ring right there well, what do they need to talk tonight. about we want them to come out here we just want to talk well, here they are well you prove one thing they got guts to come showing out here two against three two against three of you with bowden hanging around here yeah yeah you're back here all right guys now you see boys Right here, you're wearing something that belonged to two real champions like you're looking at. Hey, hey, how hold it. You're real popular. There's one six-year-old girl over there hollering for you. But see, yes, yeah, probably your little girl. It's already she's hollering for you. But hold on. There seems to be a little controversy about a few things that's going on. Now, let me tell you something. Before it gets bad, before these people, every one of them, Hey, shut up, toothless man. Before anything else happens, 
why don't you go ahead and take those belts off right there and go ahead and strap it around my waist. Oh, okay, okay. Brother, you got to have to beat somebody you if you want to You got to earn yeah. something, brother. You got to earn this belt if you want. And I'll tell you what I'll do, big boy. I'll give you the chance right now to get in the ring and earn it right this second. Hey, hold it, hold it, hold it. Who even says that you're in my league, more or less in Wildfire Tommy Rich's league? You ain't even mad enough to lace up my boots. Well, I wouldn't even... Yes, this says I'm in your league, because obviously you want to get in my league and get a little bit of this belt. It's what you want, boy. Hey, I think Tommy Rich has got a little guarantee for you and for you. You know whether it happens right this minute or whether it happens Wednesday night. You know, everybody wants to get on the bandwagon. I heard Jerry Lawler talking about how good Tommy Rich and Doug Gilbert was because we whooped all the WWF had to offer. Well, let me tell you something, you little punk. You want to do it now, we can do it now, we can do it Wednesday night. Because I've got one night, whoa. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Whoa. The bottom line, the bottom line is I'm going to guarantee you you and all these stinking rednecks, whether it's right now or Wednesday night, we're going to win the tag team titles, boys. Well, I'm going to tell you something else, Tommy Rich. We ain't giving nothing to you two, and it ain't no secret. I hate you, and I hate you. So let's do it, big guy. Well, they head to the ring, and uh, this goes along. Uh, with here's, here's Randy Hales out. I don't know. Uh, there they go. J.C. Ice and uh, Doug Gilbert going at each other. We tried to give them the easy way out. We tried to give them the easy way out. We'll be down on the floor pounding on Doug Gilbert. Here comes Wildfire Tommy Rich and nailed Wolfie as Randy Hales, referee Bill Rush over there trying to get them separated. They had a match between Gilbert and Rich and... Ripley Prim in the shadow, and we ended up with a little interim battle going on between PG-13. They just don't like each other, and Doug Gilbert has got one of the belts. Yeah, he does. I don't that know may how cause a war right yeah, there. Good indeed. I don't know how he ended up uh, in possession of that, but he's got it in his hand. Well, now the referee's got it and passes it out of the ring, and Randy Hales has got it, so uh, now... I think we're about ready to go with the uh, match we originally had uh, had scheduled here. Yeah, the referee calls for the bell. It is Ripley Prim and the Shadow against Doug Gilbert and Tommy Rich. Scott Fountain over in the corner of Rich and Gilbert. Always a presence with which to be reckoned. You know, it's just like Tommy Rich. Guaranteed that victory. It kind of reminds me of Joe Namath guaranteeing that Super Bowl victory. And you saw what happened there, baby. We got the confidence, we got the ability, and they got the world's greatest manager. And you got some opponents who have the championship belts and who are, as they have said, they're not just going to hand them over to you. You're going to have a battle on your hands when you climb in the ring later this week. Snap suplex from Doug Gilbert on Ripley Grimm. And Grimm has jumped out of the rope onto the floor. And... He is down on the studio floor as Gilbert setting him up for again that snap suplex, and he really hammered him hard. Ooh, ooh. Down on that floor, which has no give to it. wrestling ring is where it's supposed to be and not out on a floor. Wrestling's where we want it. I, mean, I think that just killed him. What's that guy's name? Ripley Flip? Damn, I think that killed him. Coming out one one. Referee Bill Rush counting, but Doug gets him up, throws him back in the ring. And he looks DDT. He slammed him down into that match. This poor young guy is learning the hard way, dude. He is indeed. No doubt he is overmatched here by Doug Gilbert and Wildfire Tommy Rich. And they are just showing absolutely no mercy. Rich fires into the rope. 
Doug Gilbert just sort of dropped into the mat. Just sort of let him fall. Now he grabs him. Look out. Going for pile driver. Yeah, he pile drives him right in the center of the ring. Ripley Prim after being hammered on the floor. Now he's hit with a pile driver. And look at the other stuff. Coming, man. An insult to injury. Or maybe injury to injury. Yes. Should have been a disqualification, but the referee had his back to the situation when he go in here again rich distracts him and down on the mat he goes with a pile driver ripley prim boy i tell you i feel like ringing the bell just snap again and there he goes over with that suplex and doug gilbert rise down on this and the shadow is up on the ring apron one two three finally got that over mm, mm, mm. Well, they're a powerful, powerful tag team. There's no doubt about it. Doug Gilbert, Tommy Rich, Wildfire, and Dangerous Doug. They had a hammer shadow over there again. Uh, he, they, they, they took him out of it early on. Scott Bowden, what is, Scott Bowden is just, either, he had a towel over here and he's just unwrapped it and handed something. We're gonna do a little art today. We're gonna do a little painting today, Dave. That's a can of spray paint. Uh, one can only imagine what they have in mind. Ripley Prim lying there in the center of the ring. Uh, well, now maybe I hope that makes you feel and got him out of that ring by taking on Richard Gilbert. Those guys right there still have the belts, and they've just proven that they can run the challengers out of the building. We'll see what happens later on. But for today, well, I guess the victory is going to go to Richard Gilbert over Ripley Prim and the show. Brian Christopher Tracy Smothers coming up. we got to take time out. Hi, everybody. Ron Olson at Memphis Airport Toyota with Robert, who is in charge of the parts department. How long have you been working here now? Thirteen years. Thirteen. How many Toyotas have you bought? Four. Four. And are you happy with them? They're the best. Is the this best. the best place to buy one? This is the best place to buy. Take it from Robert. The question is, where is Memphis Airport Toyota? Just ten seconds off Mill Branch at I-240. Or take I-55 to Brooks Road and follow the savings to Memphis Airport Toyota. It's the customer appreciation sale where everybody gets the red carpet treatment at Memphis Airport Toyota. Welcome to CNW Auto Sales and Salvage. We specialize in the lowest price and the best service on all glass and column repair. Motors, rotors, starters, radiators, front caps, all at the best price. I'm Easy Money. I'm Jamming Joel. Without a question. We're your Paws Connection. Let, Let us hook, hook you up. up. Hi, I'm Wanda Cat, owner of CNW Auto Sales and Salvage, and I'll pay you cash for your old junk car. We crush the competition! Hey, Bill Bailey, you still selling furniture too cheap? Eddie, I don't believe it's against the law to sell furniture too cheap. I've always got a good deal. You tell them about it. Bill Bailey, we got this couch and chair only $5.99 with a free love seat. This beautiful couch and chair only $699. On this Queen Anne suit, couch and chair $5.99. Oak chairs $39.95. Sofa hide beds with inner spring mattress, only $299. Also, recliners on sale at Bailey Furniture in Bahalia, Mississippi. At Dobbs Ford, the best reason to buy just got better. Now get 4.8 financing or $600 customer cash back on every new 96 full-size F-150 regular cab in stock. Every one. Over 500 new trucks in stock. New 96 F-150 XLTs with air, tilt, cruise, power windows, door locks, and more. Was $19,125, now $13,988. New 96 F-150 80 Bowers with all this equipment was $25,65, now $14,988. Extra hours Friday and Saturday, Sunday, noon till 6 at the number one selling Ford dealer in the Mid-South, Dobbs Ford. Mount Moriah on I-240. Okay. Boy, you know, it all seems so neat 
earlier before we started the show, son of a gun, it's gotten wild and woolly. I can Seems guarantee you that. Seems to happen a lot, doesn't it? Let's talk about Wednesday night. We've got a big one down at the Mid-South Coliseum. Bell time is going to be set off. Now, i got to tell you, you, for a man that doesn't work here, he's sure been around a lot today. Bill, i got to tell you, our hospitality's getting thin out here. We've got things to do. we still got a main event. Hey, does Lawler think I have nothing else to do on a Wednesday night except hang around here to come down and fight him? Hey, well, you're the one that came out here and said, oh, I, I want to come out here to want to, to do No, I came out here to get something straight and why we got fired. Well, let me tell you something, Lawler. I got a prior obligation to Sportatorium in Jonesboro Wednesday night, and I'm going to have Burt Prentice put me on early, and then I'm going to get in my car, and I'm going to drive down to the Coliseum, brother. And it's going to be you. And it's going to be me. And you know, the first thing I'm going to do to you when I get in the ring, I'm going to spit right in your face again, punk, because I used to have a lot of respect for you. You're right. You used to be the king around here. Well, we ain't getting paid. We're doing it for free. And you're... Here we go again. I ought to hit you right in North Street. You won't fire me. I have you thrown in jail if you hit me. Bill, I knew you'd come out here and screwed up the whole show. But one thing that I would like to do, I'd like to see you... Wednesday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Get your butt kicked by Jerry Lawler. That's what I'd like to see. And let me make this perfectly clear. He made the challenge. You apparently just accepted it. But I'm telling you, you don't work for this company. You'll never work for this company. And you will not be paid for that match. I promise you. Bert Prentice was right about you, you punk. He said, I should have knocked you out. It would have been worth going to jail. Well, you just tell Kingfish, brother. I've accepted his challenge. And if you come near the ring Wednesday night, I got to beat your brains out. All right. I'm not sanctioned. I'm not sanctioned. Don't want we got it, but it is added to the car down there, a non-sanctioned match with Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee in there. Now, if we can get back to what we were doing, we wanted to tell you 7.30. That does make a little yeah, extra oh, added attraction. Yeah. One of the great ones. 7.30 at the Mid-South Coliseum. Going to be a heck of a night of action and getting better all the time, Dave. Indeed. Well, now that makes it seven matches coming up uh, Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Six of them sanctioned by the USWA. First match, Derek Domino and Harvey Lewis will be going against Spellbinder and Tony Williams. Miss Texas is going to be taking on Scott Bowden and Brandon Baxter in a handicap match. Grudge match, Tracy Smothers with Brandon Baxter over in the corner against Jesse James Armstrong. That one was not patched up as it earlier appeared it might be. My golly, I'll tell you, that is going to be a great match. USWA tag title match. Tommy Rich, Doug Gilbert meet it officially for the titles. PG-13. USWA heavyweight title is on the line. Brand new belt. Too sexy. Brian Christopher is the USWA heavyweight champion. He's being challenged by a big guy, though. Sir Mo from Men on a Mission. And a 10-man elimination match which is going to have the winner of that match, the number one contender for the Unified World Heavyweight title. Look at some of the names. Lawler, Wolfie D, Armstrong, Rich, Smothers, Christopher, J.C.I., Spellbinder, Gilbert, and Sir Moe all battling for the number one contender spot, Dave. What a main event, but that's not all. Remember, the non-sanctioned match has been added. Randy Hale said nobody's getting paid by us, but Lawler says just come on out here. After it's all over, we'll have a match. Dundee accepted. Bill Dundee against the King Jerry Lawler. What a night. Oh, I got to tell you, mm, we're going to settle something right there and there. We'll be back in just a moment with our main event. February 29th happens only once every four years, and Schaefer Honda's $29 down special is happening now. Only $29 down for a new 96 Accord LX and just $269 a month. Now to the 29th only. $29 is all you pay to drive away. No security deposit or acquisition fee. No hidden charges. $29 down and just $269 a month for a 96 Accord LX with great features. Only $29 down now to the 29th at Schaefer Honda, 3254 Elvis Presley. Don't gamble with your car insurance. Make the sure bet on a winning hand from the hometown boys at Bill Blake. They're dealing straight with savings up to 50% on your car insurance. For low monthly payments on your car insurance, call Bill Blake at 948-5551 or 346-5551. They'll work with you.
there's a hard-working gasoline. You sure about this? With the power to drive down maintenance costs. Really? Are you serious? Yes, we are. Exxon gasoline keeps your engine cleaner. Clean is good. So it can help drive down maintenance costs. Could gas do that? Exxon gasoline can, with the power to drive down maintenance costs. It's a good idea. And so is this. Cash and credit prices are the same. Okay, I'll try it. People stopping by to rely. When you change everything and break the rules, you can expect a reaction. We sure got one. Sales records got shattered, too. So we're celebrating our best sales ever with savings on this best buy, Dodge Intrepid. Intrepid has more passenger room, power, and equipment standard than Ford Taurus. And even before $1,500 in cash savings or 1.9% financing, it's also a better value. See the friendly Dodge dealer near you. Ready now for our main event today on USWA Championship Wrestling. This one should be a dandy. Our main event today on USWA Wrestling. First introducing at a weight of 240 pounds out of Springfield, Tennessee, Tracy Smothers and his opponent today out of Memphis, Tennessee, the new USWA Heavyweight Champion out of Memphis, Tennessee, too sexy, Brian Christopher. We're underway shortly with our main event. Over now to L and R and D. Right. Good job, Corey. We'll have participants what, what up he say? there. What do you say? What do you say? L and D. L and D. Ah, Tracy Smothers headed to the ring. Got what's left of that rebel flag with a broken standard in there. Brandon Baxter in the corner and Miss Patricia also over in the corner. Well, they bring a they bring an army with them. Don't they? they can't just come one against one against Brian Christopher. Brian wearing that uh, brand new USWA heavyweight title belt. This is a non-title match, Boy, but it should be a good one. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Belt is gorgeous. Well, it'll be the first time you've attacked anybody from the front in a while. I'll say that. I don't know what all he's saying, but he's complaining about something. Gracie Smothers. Meanwhile, Brian Christopher took great care to have that uh, beautiful USWA heavyweight title. Uh, Smothers uh, still focused on Jesse James Armstrong. He says he's gonna he's gonna be the next heavyweight champion, but he's also going after Jesse James Armstrong. Others, and it really irritates me because Tracy, real good athlete, fine wrestler, used to be one heck of a guy. Uh oh, what in the world is Sir Mo doing out here? He was out earlier and won it. Now you're gonna have to do a lot more than reach down and pick the belt up off our chest, Mo, before you get there. Hey, hey, hey. Lance Russell, just shut up. I'm just out here as an observer. Hey, I just keep my eye on Brian Christopher. <laughs> and this gold right here belongs to me. Well, it does not belong to you. It belongs to Brian Christopher. You have to... Yeah, it looks awfully good. A beautiful brand new belt. All right, all right. Enough with the thing. Moe's sitting out here figuring the only way he's going to get the belt is steal it off the deck. Brian Christopher up from behind. Rolls it down and got a two count on the you're going to have to be facing I'm not impressed, Lance Russell. Brian Christopher is a washed-up punk. I'm not impressed. Well, a lot of people have not been impressed by Brian Christopher, and they've ended up on the losing side. I think the, belt that, uh, the fact that that belt you're holding on to belongs to Brian Christopher speaks for itself in that regard. Yeah, it belongs to him, but it's only temporary. Because once I get him in the ring, he's going to lose his belt, he's going to lose his career, and he's going to lose his... I can't say that. He legs as a takedown on Tracy Smothers. Smothers back up, reverses, and does the same. Slips in and loses a headlock. Our time running down here on this match. Son of a gunner. Tracy Smothers got out of the ring. Probably a wise move on his part as Christopher was going to hammer that arm up behind his back and work on him. Brandon Baxter and Armstrong, uh, or Armstrong and Smothers with a uh, with a bit of a conference out on the floor there. I think Smothers is still thinking about Armstrong. 
Uh, he, he and... Uh, that, oh, oh, boy, that's not a good sign. Brandon Baxter over to shake hands with Mo. Yeah. Mo, you need to ask Tatanka just how how easy uh, Brian Christopher is. He didn't find it so easy. Well, let me tell you something, Lance Russell. Tatanka's not even in my league, okay? Where I come from, Tatanka can't even walk down my alley. Smothers misses him trying to rush to the corner. Brian Christopher firing back with a right hand. Referee trying to stop him. Whoa, good puck kick, and Smothers goes down. Oh, takes him right over with that foot and a beautiful move by Brian Christopher. We are down to time, and the time limit is going to run out right here as Tracy Brian Christopher. You know what? Brian Christopher is not even going to be the champion by the time I meet him. Excuse me, I got somewhere to go. Oh, look out. Mo around behind Brian Christopher, shoves him into the ring. Tracy Smothers comes over with a cover. The referee starts a count, too. Only a two count. That's all he was able to get. We got to take a break. We'll take time out, and we will be back in just a moment. <laughs> Dorothy discovered this place was really much better than the Land of Oz. Think you got it? Backyard. Yeah! It's a jungle safari, so watch the next Wheel of Fortune. Monday at 6.30 on WMC TV5. At Dobbs Ford, the best reason to buy just got better. Now get 4.8 financing or $600 customer cash back on every new 96 full-size F-150 regular cab in stock. Every one. Over 500 new trucks in stock. New 96 F-150 XLTs with air, tilt, cruise, power windows, door locks, and more. Once 19 125 now 13 New 96 F-150 80 Bowers with all this equipment was 25 65 now 14 988 Extra hours Friday and Saturday, Sunday noon till 6 at the number one selling Ford dealer in the Mid-South, Dobbs Ford. Mount Moriah on I-240. Value is a big buzzword in fast food these days. More for less. The only problem is it's more of this stuff. At Arby's, we believe in more and better. Our five-buck roundup gives you your choice of three beef and cheddars dripping with cheddar cheese sauce, or four famous roast beef sandwiches, or five barbecue sandwiches and smothered tangy barbecue sauce. Not just more food, better food. Taste why it's better out here. The five-buck roundup at Arby's. So I say to her, now that we're together, let's uncomplicate our lives and use my multivitamins. No way, she says. She shows me that Woman's Ultra Mega has folic acid, calcium, and iron. GNC's Woman's Ultra Mega. It's made for her, just like I am. What do you say, Bobby? All the cars in Covered by Chrysler's big sale. A great selection of new 1996 minivans on sale from $14,995. Only $14,995 for a 96 minivan. Ooh, let me see. Wow. And new neons are on sale from $89.95. That's right, $89.95. Bobby, let me see. Oh, look at this really high price. That's our nearest competitor, Janet. Here's where you should be looking. And that disqualification. Christopher, Mo I'm not through with you. I let you live today so I can beat you tomorrow. All right. We're uh, back. Baxter's trying to send Mo in there after Brian Christopher. Uh, and while, while you were gone, it was an interruption by Mo, a disqualification. Christopher's a winning, that's not helping. Yeah, that's it. But boy, the action continues. This is a long way from being over, let me tell you. And it's not going to be settled here today. Uh, it's not going to be settled for one day because we're just about out of time. Got to remind you that coming up Wednesday night, it's going to be a night you'll want to be there. We've got the added match. Neither one of them getting paid non-sanctioned Jerry Lawler against superstar Bill Dundee. Now, the end of the main event is going to be a 10-man elimination with all of the great stars to see who will be the number one contender for the unified world title. We're out of time. So, for Corey Macklin, Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.